today is Wednesday. Uh, yep. And to be honest, Great. people, uh, we're recording a this podcast episode that is late and it's supposed to go up tonight. So we're cramming. We're late, y'all. Hi, we're on our podcast. Hi, everybody. The music's playing. <laughs> Wild things are happening. All is going nuts. Oh, and I couldn't God. get my computer up. So we are always late. Uh, yeah. Susan, Susan, if I might say, looks like she's yes. on the porch, maybe in a farm down in Alabama or something. I'm in New Orleans in a hammock, guys. I couldn't get my office to function, so I had to come out here. Sorry. That is I mean, a it's southern, cold out. That is chilly. a southern porch. A southern porch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hey, uh, before right. we get going, before we get going, uh, just a sidebar here. Um, and Bob, I'm sure you did. I don't know if you did, Susan, but what I did uh, the other night was <clears throat> I ran into this thing with Venice, and they it was Venice and David Crosby, and they did. Have you guys heard that? No. So go online and put Venice, David Crosby, our show. How is that? Mark, Mark Lennon and the boys. Mark okay. and his brothers and David Crosby. And what? they do they do like an album's worth of, uh, and man, it's just, they sing wow. so well. It is yeah. so With David? Good. They sing well with David? Oh, Yeah. It, it it was something else. I I tried to figure out what time it might have been. It could hey, have been twenty seventeen or something guys, like that. You know. I'll so, but boy, Graham anybody Nash. who has, okay, I'm talking, Susan. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, but she Jeez. has a great idea, Paul. Well, tell her to hold it. I I can't. <laughs> it's hard enough for me to say what I'm saying without somebody yapping in my freaking ear. Honestly, Sorry. what was I saying? No, just, you were talking just about Venice and Dave. About Venice and David. Yeah, I just want to let everybody in our podcast world to know to go find this thing with Venice and David Crosby. It's incredible. These guys sing it. And man, I mean, just the perfect harmonies that we heard on the album. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. just everybody's going to go see that. It's really incredible. They're amazing. Okay. What, Susan? Susan, what's your great idea? I was just going to say we could ask remember. Graham Nash and we could go be his singers. That's all. That's all. What were you going <laughs> to say? Nash? We could ask Graham Nash if we could be his family singers. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> is that keeping up with the Joneses? What is going on here? That's keeping up <laughs> with the Joneses. That's well, correct. Can we call Paul McCartney letters. and ask if it could maybe be him instead of Graham Nash? Yeah. We could do that. Well, if he would like to <laughs> yeah, be yeah. A, a forerunner of his band, yes. <laughs> but we all need to look it up. I've already typed it in. Yeah, you're going to love it. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds Jeez. good. Yeah. Okay. So how's everybody? Great, great. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Is yep. coming. Christmas. Everybody's time. good. Hey, we're starting to do interviews about Christmas time and the holiday release. Yeah, yeah. I did one. I did I one a couple of days ago. It's gonna rev up as the December, especially as December comes, because we're gonna do a little radio tour in December in the early weeks there. That'll be a lot of fun. And hey, listen, call your local radio station. Tell them to play Christmas time. It'll be great. Yes, yes, look, look yes. At the, look at the, do you say phones these days or do the computer? Hit the phone. No, you do it on a phone, I think, still. Really? I think I so. Think can, I think you can do it on any apparatus that yeah. you have. Hey, you could probably just think it and the radio stations know what we're thinking because God knows everybody else does on these phones. So just think your request out to Tix FM and Norm. Okay. Well, okay, Susan. If you don't mind, now we know, yes. happen to know that Susan, our sister, just got back from apparently the inaugural, okay, uh, speak, what is it called? So it's they, called the Big Easy Cruise. The Big Easy Cruise. Mm -hmm. And the Big Easy is a giveaway as to what the, what the theme of the cruise is. So <laughs> we wanted to hear from Susan because, man, she just appeared for like eight days. Okay, and nice. <clears throat> Susan, having been on... Many cruises, different cruises now, concert to sea, yes. flower power, big easy. Tell us about the big easy, the vibe and everything. Well, the first thing I'll say is that it is a, a brother of the plow, uh, flower power, malt shop, uh, romance, 70s. It's all put on by our Star Vista guys. Okay. So this is the first year that they yeah, have yeah, done. Yeah. Yo. No, I said, yay, Alan. Yes, it's all, yeah, and it's all Alan. This is just him adding another one to his roster. And it was pretty funny, guys, because 
when uh when we were sitting you know how they always have a first meeting and they want to address everybody and say hey welcome and all that stuff yeah 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 so we're all sitting in one of these rooms and we were going to be on our ships but they changed it at the last minute so we were on a holland america it was quite lovely a oh. little smaller but a little um, smaller yeah. yeah yeah a little smaller but yeah. not much not much really and, and it, kind it, of all the same true. layout any questions keep just, uh, just let me know yeah no go oh paul paul yeah we'll paul, go to so how did you um how, how was it uh did a lot of people go <laughs> well yeah right was it well attended um yeah that's it it was and it and and it, again it is the first of its kind and they have different production guys running it like a dude from nashville a wonderful guy mike robertson he's doing the talent from nashville but he's very familiar he puts on a, a cajun festival so anyway it's you know they know what they're doing they're they're branching out and uh so it wasn't sold out but i can tell you you know how on the other cruises where people start right away they went on next year they head up yes. to the deck. Yeah. lots yeah. of that it was very successful they were very happy okay yeah. but it was hilarious you guys because we're y'all casters we're very good friends we make friends with everybody and so we're really good friends yes, with the people who, who put on our boat our, our cruises and we hang out with them we talk to them and and so Sue was there, Maureen, oh, you know, everybody. Okay. And you had that big meeting at the beginning, right? And we have the big meeting and, and Jason, who is the is the host for okay, everything. Hosting. Our oh, Jason boy. is the host. Right on. And he comes out and he comes out and he's like, hey, everybody. Wow. Welcome. Hey, it's good to see all. And he stops because he looks out there and he sees Russ and me sitting in the middle of all these people. And he completely stops and goes, what are you? He he mouths, what are you doing here? And he questioned. And I'm like, <laughs> New Orleans. And he goes, okay. And then he, he just like, and everybody starts laughing because he, ha what, go ahead, Bob. He could, he could have been saying, is this the flower power cruise? What's going on? This, yeah. what I am telling you. He'll get to that we age. Were, look, look, before I got to production, when we were at the terminal, I saw Maureen, little blonde Maureen. She looks like a Rooney running around trying to solve something. And I just waved in front of her face and kept going. And she stopped and turned around and just kept going. She, and so then when she saw <laughs> me later, she's like, I thought I was tripping because I saw somebody who looked like you. So they are all, go ahead, Bob. I have to respond. Thank you. Uh, I do have a question, but quickly, you heard the word Rooney and she called someone a Rooney. I didn't want that anyone to think that's a negative uh, description of anything, that if you're called a Rooney, we have a problem. <laughs> like, why did you call me a Rooney? What is a Rooney? It's a family that we grew up with, sort of. And she looks like a member. And they were the Rooney family. And they were very so, Irish blonde looking, some like of them. Rooney is just uh, referring to that. Thank you. My question is, did you get a room with a deck and to look at the outside? Okay. So when we're on our cruises, we are principals, as we know, Bob, Paul, and Susan, we always get a room with a deck. We just found out recently that our bandmates, our children, don't get those kind of rooms. So Russ, being a drummer, I figured we'd be on an inside room, but no. We got a balcony, but yeah, you know, yeah. the, you know, the orange boats, you know, the lifeboats that yes. are right outside. Well, our belt, our whole row had them right as our view. Oh. So we had a window, but it didn't open, but at least it was big and not like a little porthole. Well, okay. I have a question. Um, yeah. were these lifeboats right outside and in, in your view, were they situated where you were could hop into them if you needed to get the <laughs> hell out of Dodge or the, were they above you and no. you looked at them? Which way well, was it? Okay, we could have hopped in them, but our sliding yeah. doors didn't open because we were in the oh, defunct yeah. row ah. of having them right in front of you. Yeah, But I could I, definitely have gotten up on my rail and hopped in and been the first person waiting as they rolled them down. Because think of it, you are <laughs> a woman and Russ still looks like a child and they always go first. So you, you two would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah okay oh, man. So, okay so well, after everybody got used to russ and i being there which was I, they almost gave me a red shirt to help because <laughs> i'm just walking around doing nothing morning yeah. goes i'm gonna put a red shirt on you if i see you doing nothing one more time <laughs> <laughs> those are the star vista shirts for the podcasters that's what star vista employees wear they had a great time now they were also anticipating well, let's just say perhaps some out of control partying from the New Orleans crew. And I would like to report the following. 
It turns out that my neighbors and my friends were the most well-behaved, non-medically attended, wow. non-alcohol related visited and self-policed boats they've ever had. Thank you. Well, I'm impressed with that. Absolutely. And so were they. They were kind of bracing themselves for Bourbon Street to enter their ship. But that's oh. just that's that's the media. New Orleans is not that. And these boys are respectful. You know, they had it was beautiful. You guys would have really dug it. Paul, you come here and you go to shows a lot with me. Go ahead, Paul. Ask. Well, I just want. So who was on, on your cruise? Uh, who was your stars? Or OK. Um, OK. Yeah. yeah. Who the John, Bo John Boutte. OK, so oh, we yeah. had John, Papa Grow. Huge. Loved John. Uh, John's Johnny Sansone, the blues harmonica player Russ plays with. Um, but the stars really were, let's say, Honey Island Swamp Band. And now they're, they're not total trad New Orleans, but they're from New Orleans. And it's all a mix anymore down here. And they were very good to do that. It was, and Irma Thomas was on. Okay. Hey, what Porter about your was, kids? What, Paul? Well, what about the kids? Uh, you oh, know. Sweet Crude? Yeah. Okay. So, so going forward, that kind of thing will be more on, like Mike was picking Russ's brain. He's like, New Orleans is growing and it is, we've got a French pop band. And he's like, tell me that, you know, so yeah, they will be in the future. But they, oh, what yeah. they did is they went with the solid. Now, George Porter didn't play because he's jam cruise, much like we were where the action is. And so we couldn't be flower power. Okay. Yeah. So I think there okay. might be some things coming down for some folks in town needed to make some decisions on who and what and where as we move forward because right, right. it was incredibly successful. And all the same shenanigans, late night. Uh, the newbies were there, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, the now, okay. they brought the newbies out. They were very surprised to be asked out. This is, And they were asked to learn, dig this, some 70s music. Uh -huh. They played some Credence. They know that she does the blues. She's Janice. They do Led Zeppelin. That's bluesy. So they had them. And then they had them sprinkle in some covers for people who aren't, who are coming with these heavy New Orleans fans, but they might want a little something different so they can go up and hear the newbies rocking yeah. out, covering. Right, right. Okay. Very, very cool. Very and cool. shows by the pool. <laughs> and shows Lido by the pool. Lido Deck. Lido Deck. Okay. And yeah. then they have um, the theater. And the theater, oh, Little Feet. Oh, wait a minute. Billy Payne? Saw him, sends love. You saw Whoa. Billy Payne. I saw all but of them, and they all send for love. Any, any calcellites out there, this goes way back now, but Billy Payne was a keyboard player on the Cocaine Drain album, Payne. along with Dennis yep. Tantaneris. But Billy Payne, the synthesizer work, and I will always, the instrumental. In, I'm, and he the, remembers the, it all, y'all, and he's an wow. old cat now. That I came up, I did the, hey, look, don't worry, because you were much more impressive to me than I probably ever was to you. So if you don't remember me, we're good. Plus, kind of knew him a little bit back at Jackson's because of Lowell coming around. So mm -hmm. I, 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 but I just didn't want to take it for granted. And he, I did my whole spiel and he goes, are you done? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah, he goes, Susan. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I just, he goes, of course Pate. I remember. He, he, he said, that keyboard and clover in the booth and started that stuff and we he just blew us away and like it, yeah. he remembered seeing me in a parking lot at sunset sound i mean he was totally new and remembered everything so that was so they were hugely received guys huge go ahead Bob. i think the lead singer passed george to, is lowell he, is gone and they have okay, a wonderful new lead singer he's he okay. he is as derek is to the guess who he is as okay. to little he feet loves, huh? okay. nailing it and loving it okay so that okay. was really cool. They were very popular. Um, but from local, you know, Honey Island Swamp, John Papa Grove, he they were they were remarkable. And right. in this environment out of New Orleans, so concentrated, you really get the impact that like, yeah. you know, when we're home, everybody's just reveling, the whole town buzzing. <laughs> Go ahead, Polly. Yeah. And so the set length. So like John, we watched him go freaking three or four hours, you know, <laughs> and, and so this was still your 75 minute set. Yep. Well, and good they for were Russ on it. that then, right? Russ yeah. went, right. oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, yes. Go ahead. Susan, were you ever 
because you're in a different perspective on this cruise. You're usually working. So were you, but were you ever through the cruise brought up and asked to sing or like, hey, could you do the Rain the Park and other things like in the wrong key or anything <laughs> like that? No, no oh, council fun. related requests. <laughs> okay, but did Listen, you get on stage? Um, there are many guys on this the, uh, that were on that boat who have done uh, Rain the Park with me. I have horn players who go, meep, meep, ba -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> when I'm in NOLA, I've had that. So that could have happened. the talk but, show yeah. come by, she walks on to the talk show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But hey. no, um, I did sit in with my friends, but just doing stuff I do with them here. I, uh, the only person I was really a cow seal to were the couples from Happy Together and the other cruises, but cool. everybody here knows me just as me. So I go up and sing songs I would sing with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I got totally uncow, no cow seal. I was incognito. I bought the spa. $179. Russ was awesome. like, get it. And I went two times a day in a hydraulic pool on a tile heated bed into an eucalyptus sauna and all by myself, away from everything. It was amazing. Beautiful. Wow. We've yeah. never had a cruise like that. Me and Paul. Me, yeah. Hey, me neither. I haven't either. And it well, was that's like why we wanted gift. that perspective, you know. It was so great, and I could say no if I like if I walked in and somebody go, "Hey, baby, you want to leave?" Not tonight. Oh, fuck, fuck it. I find somebody right, else. Right. Hey, nobody right, cares right. down here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. could decline and say yes, and then be really popular. Oh, oh. What I was, was like famous for being this singer who, oh, three times I had to write my name down for somebody. I was oh. discovered. Who are you? Not, you are amazing. Oh, not as an autograph, but as, no. I need to so track you. could me. look me up. And yeah. I'm councils. No, no councils. But, but baby, what's your name? I want to go listen to you. I'm like, okay, go no, listen to me. Yeah. So I got discovered a couple now, of times. Now, I, I do have another question. What is the cuisine? very much what we expect in new orleans and this is this is what you signed on for or can you go get a hot dog and a hamburger too but are they doing the mass murder crawfish eat them right away thing on this on this ship what's no. going on no that would be way too complicated but what they did do was they have a they hired a guest chef from nola chef kevin so we oh, had everything yeah. that we like lobster and shrimp onion soup shrimp cocktail everything normal but also with a little fleur de lis next to it you can order local cuisine okay okay yeah. so that was offered up really well thought out that i think our yeah. guys did yeah. a bang up job um russ is letting yeah. alan yeah. know and yeah. and and our new orleans people you know like i said we have the jam cruise i've never been on it and i hear it's great but jam people cruise. really dug what happened on this one well, there was a lot of camaraderie. They and and here's another thing, guys. <laughs> There's going to be a T-shirt for the Big Easy. Y'all want to go get another drink? Why not? We don't got to drive. It'll just say we don't got to drive. Oh, but if nice. I heard it once, I heard it a thousand times. So there's people in corners playing and singing and hanging out and drinking because they don't got to drive. So all oh, the nice. neighborhoods in New Orleans pretty much just got on this boat and hung out with each other for yeah, a week yeah. straight. That's pretty a great song title they don't gotta drive we uh, don't gotta yeah, drive you it. don't gotta drive i don't gotta drive no it's one a great gotta song drive. title <laughs> but don't nobody gotta drive, drive baby yeah, anyway. <laughs> all right well that sounds nobody's like gonna drive that's why i'm cruising drive <laughs> that's <laughs> right <I'm> cruising <laughs> drive. Yeah. Uh, so clearly, anyway big fun yeah, Paul. and then you know i just uh, wanted to, awesome susan i just wanted to mention one thing so i was watching a couple of, this is off the beaten path here right now but so but i've been watching some of the uh the uh podcasts okay. of our podcasts okay, oh, okay. And, and so like as you guys could see that down below me i'm sitting at a table with all these pages of tons of stuff written down you know just in prep for these things but what's but <laughs> but what i have been doing uh and i would have only known this is that for it can go for 10 minutes sometimes this is what it looks like <laughs> no. my head is down oh for it, you audiophiles it, 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 paul puts his head down we only see his baseball cap oh, <laughs> yeah. hilarious. so i watched it and i went oh my god i gotta keep uh, my head up i gotta keep my head up because it's well, like maybe this. i should go have a look that is hilarious <laughs> that's funny. pretty funny 
So, so anyway. uh, clearly people, and uh, I don't know if any of you have figured this out yet, but there's no guests today. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. no yeah, but we have can a lot you to tell? Over. We're yelling at each other. I've got on a parka. I'm freezing. I'm out on the porch. But, um, you know, um, I guess we should tend to some business. Oh, we yes, have a Bob? Christmas song out. I don't know. The holidays are, are I, I think, easing <laughs> in this year. I don't know why. I'm not quite getting it yet, but it's, I know it's coming at us. But usually what? it's kicked off in high gear, you know. <clears throat> but but I am seeing decorations pop up now, and Thanksgiving's coming, so it's all going to get. So we have, like, a Christmas song out and some good years. And um, Winter Wonderland Acapella. On Omnivore Records, and I'm, I'm doing a commercial on Omnivore <laughs> Records and CDs, not tapes anymore. Hey, but listen, listen. How do how do the folks find this great music, Bob? Please tell them well, what to do. Well, there is. A I'm still link, not clear. <laughs> uh, at Facebook, at the Council's Facebook page, because we're good business people, and also at Council.com, because we don't want to leave the old people behind, which I'm one of, <laughs> is a direct link to our page on Omnivore Recordings if you'd like to take that portal in. Or you can go to omnivorerecordings.com, put in cow sills, and boom, there it all is, right for you. Also also on Amazon, also on Spotify. It's on it all of these up, stations digital, already. Right, digital. And it's a digital-only download. So don't be looking for a hard copy of anything in your hand right now. Now listen. I was asked. I was asked about that, and I did. A, I did an interview this morning with Tony, uh -huh. and I was asked about um, if anybody could get a physical, and I said I didn't think so, but possibly next year. Well, can can we be honest? Yeah, <laughs> why I, not? I have downloaded a song and thought, God, I'd love a CD of this, and have made a, a CD of it. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to say you bootlegged somebody, brother? No, I bootlegged myself. But anyway, <laughs> well, it was the old sessions from 1965. <laughs> anyway, I said, is this dishonest? I, I'm thieving from myself, you know, anyway. Uh, so I, and I don't know, maybe today, Paul, they put in a code or something to prevent. There's food, Nicholas. Exactly that. I don't know how it works now, but we'll find well, out. Well, because any, any place I've been able to hear it, it's 10 it, seconds or... 15 right. seconds yeah. it's not so the full right. on and people have been telling me where well, asking me where to go find it so i'm yeah. glad you said that now i'll put it up on my facebook and, and direct some folks also basically yeah. the the best route is council's facebook or council.com or omnibus okay That's the best route in you know it's interesting you guys um so the beatles they've got that now and then out you know and then somebody else has something out i mean you know look at these people are really famous and all that and and, mm -hmm. and i get it but you know the whole time that we're pursuing our goal we're hearing people go oh well you know there's no billboard there's no cash box anymore there's no hot 100 anymore yeah. but you know what there is because the beatles are at number one on billboard right now and then you've got <laughs> everybody's making these charts so yeah. <laughs> somehow there must be a number gathered and i don't know but you that's know that's a good like, wait, well that's a good question how does the industry keep track of, and and that's really a good question though because i thought there still was billboard i didn't think there wasn't billboard just because you I, can't buy it i've noted it for our next little talk that we'll probably have with bob merlis we'll bring that up and, and pursue okay. what that kind of entails and what that's all about nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we're, it's kind of like we're limping along <laughs> you know we're gonna you know, here's the thing <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, look, your history and your MO and how you do it is what you're thrust upon. It's thrust <laughs> upon you. And we just need, we learned, to outlast everybody, to keep <laughs> being there, to stay. Yes, we're here. And then when the over there start dropping off and the, 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 the pool's shrinking, they do notice. I will say they notice us. And then we pass. You guys, you and were like, keep we're us. We're I'm like on the little rascals. Remember the kid who had the car and the big house, and then we come by and our <laughs> the thing we put together, and we're going by them, <laughs> and, yes. and we're trying to hop right. on the back of their wagons while we're running after them. Right. And the council's <laughs> new book, "What's Wrong with Us?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, you know, clear. But I get it. Oh, yeah, and, and and to this point though, that how we're going to outlast everybody. I, uh, you know. I, I got to, uh, you know, you got this Medicare thing and you can go, hey, I want to check something out or something like that. So what <laughs> I did was I went into the doctor and I said, you know what? I want a chest X-ray. 
And he goes, well, why would you want a chest X-ray? You, 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 you know, I go, because, you know, I'm at that age right now where I, you know, every time I take a, anyway, um, I, uh, you, said, <laughs> um, yeah, you said you want one. Yeah. I want to look yeah. in there. So, so I'm thinking about that. And then the other thing was, I said, you know, and I want to check my arteries because, you know, they have that life lifeline come through town. Yep. You know, yep. it's so much money and you, you don't know if it's BS. And my doctor even says it's BS. So yeah. I told him, I said, well, I want, I want to check my arteries because that life scan is a bunch of BS, right? Dr. Plant. And he goes, oh yeah, that's, you know, okay. So here's what and I go. So I think I need a stress test. He goes, well, why would you need a stress test? I go, well, you know, I got this little pain, you know, and I really think it's gas most of the time, but it does come up, swirls around my chest and goes up into my ear and out like that. I said to him, he goes, all right, let's. So I got a nuclear echocardiogram, which is the big deal. And Real, so all that in one problem. <laughs> yes. And so my arteries, everything is clean as a whistle. And my lungs, he said, look like 14 year old lungs. Well, see, that's good in terms of what yes. I was okay, talking Burns. about lasting longer. And, and that's excellent yes. news. I want to make sure I, when I say to people, I'm going to make it to 100, that I am i don't have anything wrong just yet. Hey, I just saw too. a lady on Facebook who celebrated, she celebrated her 112th birthday. She wow. made her own freaking cake. Because oh. and her reason somebody asked her why she went, Well, everybody else is dead. I gotta make my own cake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you do yeah, yeah. Last, you do I guess that is last. that is a situation last. you can do, I guess. Yeah. Crazy. Oh man. Good lord. Good Crazy. stuff, y'all. So, so um, do we have gigs right, coming Jimmy, up? Bob, so, do you wanna do the right, So we got a record gig? out, go check it out. And rhythm of the world, man. Rhythm of the world. The the album's still available. The green vinyl is still available. You know, we're, we're yep, yep. That. it's one year old and uh we'll keep you posted on that. It's a baby. Which, yeah, and, and the numbers are always given. I'm telling our fans out here, uh our peeps. Uh and and every Tuesday uh, or Wednesday, we get the numbers <laughs> oh, <laughs> as boy. far as what's happening. <laughs> and here's the two things I want to say. I want to say, man, it looked good last week as far as what we sold. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing I want to say is that. And all these columns that they give us, you know, because there's digital, <laughs> there's this, there's that. We have never come up with all zeros <laughs> for the that's week. Right. <laughs> that's, that's never crazy. happened. So I think that's a plus. Yes. <laughs> we do have. I'm with Polly. We do have gigs. You know, we have to tell you where we're playing. I mean, what the last time we did was so long ago. I think we told them there were two. That's something in the Happy Together tour. I don't remember. But Bob, should we run through you. them? Yeah, go ahead, Susan. I know you have a sheet in front of you, and, and I know you've been studying to be an auctioneer. Can you rattle off what's in front of you in your new format? <laughs> yeah, I won't belabor this. Well, not okay? too fast. All right, ready? All right, here we go. December, On your mark? And if I say trio show, that's Paul, Susan, and I with an acoustic guitar. Hi. Or, or a local band sometimes. Anyway, here we go. December 19th, Trio Christmas Show, Tomball, Texas. February 8th, Vero Beach, Florida, full band. February 10th, Mohegan Sun, Connecticut, full band, Emerson Lake, uh, Emerson Center in Vero Beach. February 11th, The Cutting Room, New York City, full band. March 10th, 11th, 12th, rehearsals in New Orleans. March 14th through 20th, 70s Rock and Romance Cruise, full band. March 21st through 28th, The Flower Power Cruise, full band. May 4th, Neo <laughs> Show, North Tonawanda, New York. July 27th, Friday, Harbor, Washington, full band. July 28th, Friday, Harbor, Washington, full band. July, June, and August uh, through September 2nd, The Happy Together Tour. September 13th, Trio Show, Lorraine, Ohio. September 14th, Trio Show, Dear Bob, Michigan. <laughs> September 25th, 20th, Barbersville, West Virginia, full band. November 8th, Golden Nugget, Las Vegas, full band. That's it, folks. And you can reference it in episode 115 of the Council's podcast. Anyone, and just speed forward on the video and come to this, and you can refer to this list of shows if you need to do it that way. Thank you, Bob. I might yes. utilize that little trick. What, Polly? Well, Thanks. I just wanted to let every, everybody know that what wasn't mentioned here, and we do think it'll be a part of this coming year, and this is the cruise people, they're always very in tune with what cruises are happening and them wanting to get on it. So letting everybody out there know we're going to be going on the malt shop cruise. It's funny, everybody, everybody came up to us and they would go, hey, are you, go, are sure. you on the malt, malt shop cruise, malt shop cruise? And I go, no, we're not on it. Well, we're on it now, gosh darn it. <laughs> I, I, it's funny how odd that name was to me when I heard it. 
maybe because we're 60s, not 50s, but the malt shop cruise, what, what is the malt shop cruise? And I like malt, I like to shop, you know, what's this cruise? <laughs> and then you go look it up and, you know, honestly, I, I see doo-wop, hey, but you know who was on it? Ricky Nelson's kids, Gunner and Matthew. Oh, yes. Damn, how fun would Were that they? be? Were yes, they? Yes, 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 ma'am, doing Ricky. Yes. 50, yes. you know, mall shop. Uh, the jukebox yeah. put in the dime. We got this, guys. We got this. How much is that doggy and, in the window? Well, now, now <laughs> we'll find out if we're going to be doing malt shoppy new tunes like we're learning a 70s set for the 70s students. That's a specific announced theme. The mall shop, you know, I don't know. It sounds like food to me, not music. We'll but, find out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And this is usually late October uh, and comes back early November. That's the timeline of that cruise, folks. It yep. goes to the same places, I think. You know, it does. Hey, does this look better, you guys? When I'm, I'm reading now. <laughs> I'll tell you what looks better. You raised yourself up a little in your score in your rectangle. Yeah, you kind of got a kindergarten thing going and, on. <laughs> and it, at the worst, it just looks like you can't open your eyes. Why? Why are his eyes closed? Why? Right? Because your head stays, but you're looking down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. No, it's better, oh, Paul. Right on, right on. You, right you, on. It's better. Look, it's better. It's so that's better. our gig schedule. It's a good gig schedule. You know, we're glad to have a lot of work and uh, a third cruise probably coming. We think so. You know, we, we just said it. We're on it. It's happening. Okay. Well, the malt shop. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's happening. Oh, I talked to Alan last night. Quiet. He called me around Nobody three in the morning. Nobody said keep it low. <laughs> <laughs> he called me three in the morning. Um, Alan, yeah, we talked last night over coffee. Okay, folks. So <laughs> we we can uh, move on. If we want. Okay. Uh, we hope this gets up tonight. <laughs> Go ahead, Paul. <laughs> oh, are you, are you closing the show? I get. Do we have other things to do? Or? Well, I do have a couple of things I wanted to mention. Oh, good. Because it was my birthday, and I want to thank everybody for the birthday greetings. A funny thing happens to me. So I'm reading Facebook, okay? <laughs> I'm reading <laughs> Facebook, and there's all these happy birthdays, you know? And so I go on, and I say, hey, gee, thanks, everybody. It was a great day, like that. And then Luann, and so that was that, and I left it. And so now, all of a sudden, Luann's laughing, okay? She's in the living room with me on her phone. And she starts laughing, and she goes, she goes, Hey, Joe, like that, because Joe Smith is the name that I use on Facebook, okay? But when I responded saying thanks and hi, it came out as Joe Smith and not oh, me. That's great. <laughs> and now so, everybody knows you're Joe Smith, so you have to come up with a new name. But <laughs> No, I'm fine. I never He's go on get, there. Joe, Joe's going to get so many friends. Joe's going to get hit hard, hard tonight. He's going to get hit hard. <laughs> Paul's going to wake up tomorrow and be a freaking influencer. He'll be a media star. <laughs> so anyway, so I had my birthday and it was really great. Very good. Hey, but, Paul, but I'm I, sorry. How old were you? Did, did you become? I became a 70. What's the year? You're 71 or 70. two. What year? This year? It's 2000. <laughs> well, usually I'm connected to the year as well, far I am. as if, like it when it's the, if it's a 70. 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 01, 011, 0. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm 74. Does it help? Yeah, I think I'm 71. I, I think you I'm, are too. Yeah, I think you became okay. a septo last uh, last year and now you're 71. 70. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 51, so 61, wow. 71, 81, Listen, 91. And we're talking 01, to a guy 11. that has been nuclear verified young. Okay. So, yeah. Here. I'm going to go get nuclear. What's the name of that test? I want it. Is it 23? Is what 23? The year. Yeah. This year is, is 2023. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't be 72. Yeah. What am I? Hey, no. let me go look on Facebook. I am 72. I can find out You're born in 51. Yes, because, yeah. I remember and it. Dean, I was two. And Dean is going to turn on the 26th. He's going to turn yeah. 71. Yes. And you're so I'm a year old. older than him. Yes. So you're 72, dude. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Good. <laughs> Because you know what? If you're stopped by what? a cop and you're nervous, you're going to be a big problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have to get stopped by cops and be nervous anymore? Is there anything to be nervous about left? I didn't think so. No. 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 People that are stopped by a cop uh, know why. So <laughs> yeah, that's going to kind of govern the reaction. Good point. <laughs> yes, yes. You might be. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so just a real quick thing call. here. Yeah. I know you guys must have seen pictures of my new bath, of my new shower. Yes. No. 
<laughs> I've been gone. They went, Where will I they find went them? viral on the internet. I've been gone. Where are they? Up. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, I thought you guys might have seen, uh, you know, I did. my, I did. my I'm shower Facebook because of uh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Facebook. Maybe on Louis Facebook. Louis okay, Facebook I'll go or look. I don't know. But okay, anyway, and that was great. And then what I really got for my birthday, actually me and Luann both got it, but she can't really do it because it's too heavy. But I got a backpack leaf blower. Like the gardeners used to have. We love them. We have one. Oh, you do. The we two cycle. Yeah, two cycle where you use the 50 and one. Yeah. I, I don't I think we yeah, I think it is. I think he got a really good one because we have that oak tree. And so good yeah. God. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, that's they're great. Cool. You know, so I, I, got I one can't of those. tell you the excitement inside of me and the and the <laughs> to you about a backpack leaf blower. You, you know, because oh, yeah. I want to strangle every backpack leaf blower in my neighborhood, but I wouldn't want to strangle you, okay? No, it, no. Listen. Just, we I, I want to say it's a four letter word rake, but I know they got to get to one property to another and, and volume and uh, Look, if I rake, Bob, if I rake, I can't move for two days after oh, I no. rake. No, you're age related. I get that. Too. Yes. You yes. know, we could, we, that, we listen. rake and blow. <laughs> I had a yeah. gripe. I had a gripe. Well, there's a little raking, but excuse me. I had a gripe once that about motors and I, to this day, I, I'm going to be long dead. They will come up to figure out how to have noise, noiseless motors. Then the leaf blowers wouldn't bother me at all. Why is everything yeah. loud if you're a motor? The cars no, no. come. Everything should go ahead. I'm with yeah. you, Bob. Because, like, for instance, I won't use an electric toothbrush in the morning because I cannot have that in my head. What does the noise have first to be thing. Yeah. I can do it at night. What, Polly? Exactly. But, but I'm. I will say though, um, so the pack back backpacks blowers, you know, of course I went with the one that I knew and it was a two cycle engine. So it is gas and oil mix that goes in it, but they have very quiet ones, which are oh, electric. Sure. Yeah. You know, so electricity has gotten those, all these machines, gas operated chainsaws. I got an electric chainsaw, dude, and it is incredible. And <laughs> there's no pulling the cord, no nothing. You just push <laughs> the button. And it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Cal still is cutting down a tree again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Why yeah. can't he start that at 10? Okay. I'm building my pile. Hey, Christmas okay. is coming. I got to oh, go win shop. Winter's okay. coming, and he's building his pile. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's right. Um, so anyway, um, we can go into uh, um, we, we're going to have another one of these next week, right? We're going to be oh, yes. doing we one have a podcast next week. Episode okay. every week. Then I'll hold Probably off. Probably till we're dead. No, yeah. if you want to keep going, we. I'm sure everyone's well, just sitting around with nothing to do. <laughs> well, I just wanted oh, to yeah. go over the Christmas songs that we're going to be doing at our Christmas show. Okay, I have let's do that. Down, I have written down Winter Wonderland, yes. Rocking Around, the, yes. the Christmas Tree, yes. Jingle Bell Rock, Yep, and have yourself a merry little Christmas yes. and yes. drummer boy. Yeah, because we did all of those. Yes, yes, in Branson. <laughs> okay, and, and so let's learn those guys. Let's Absolutely. learn those. Let's do. Oh, and my red guitar is out of the case. You know, we okay. got to work. I know. Okay, Susan, Susan. Can we please, 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 though? Can we please incorporate into our Christmas shows whatever they are? Are from the top of the chimney to the top of the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash, dash away, away, dash away. Oh. What song Brandon, is that? Please, yeah, somehow. that's jingle. That's that is um where we go. Um, hey, oh. you're rocking for a sleigh ride. Uh, yeah, Christmas, yeah. Christmas time's here again. Yeah, no, but what song is that? Wait, I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, is it when... you guys. Well, we'll figure it out by right. the time we okay. get to the okay. that, That's easy okay. to find online, you know. But I <laughs> yeah. of course those <laughs> and then I, I did have one one last oh, thing, Lordy. and, and yeah. that is so country roads, which oh guys, yes. we're talking about the 70s cruise, and we need to come up with these songs. And each yes. Bob, Susan, and myself, we're gonna like each pick four or so and 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 have at that 70s stuff. And so I was gonna say that so country, so I'm gonna talk keys, Bob, the key yeah. of these songs. Country roads is so, valuable, any key, yeah. Yeah, okay. Country roads we want to do in G. He okay. did it in A, but he went when we were on tour, he would do it in G. Uh it's just the weird okay. thing with John. And then no, no, the I line. know why. Because when dude, you record... I can definitely do drag in the line. I see I what you're saying. Uh -huh. Totally, hum, totally. Hum. And those yes, and then, yeah, and then we do. I think I love you is one, the other one that I'm going to do. And then, 
the thing it's funny why would a, a why would two songs in g so um who'll stop the rain yeah. by credence is in g yeah but it seems so high it's because of Whereas that harmony country roads in g seems so normal why is that harmony choices maybe bob I, I think Le Country Roads is an example of a song that you can move around with keys and it's going to be fine. You can't do it with, with if you do that with Cool Stop the Rain, it's not going to sound like Cool Stop the Rain. That's right, why okay, songs cool. have to stay in It's the just same. a song it's, thing, is it? Is it yeah. just song by song? Really some can is. move, some cannot? Okay. If, if you tried to play Who'll Stop the Rain in, in A, well, I'm sure in people G. do it, but they shouldn't. No, if you tried in A. Um, oh, got you. It, it would not yeah. be good but i think some look at from, handle it you know uh, um, yeah it's I, it's in g the key oh, yeah, of um, yeah it's g Those i went down marks. virginia seeking shelter yeah. from the storm hey, a little preview folks hey and listen <laughs> with with country roads we're at, yeah. after after the 70s screws in the autumn we're in west virginia for a show so this is an example of where something we learn man of course that'll be country great roads. we know where we are yeah, yeah, I yeah. wish "Walking yeah. on Sunshine" was a '70s song. I love that song, Katrina and the Waves. Oh, great! I'm song. walking yeah. on sunshine. So I don't feel good. After Didn't that. you love that, Bob? I Didn't you was, think was, this this band's gonna have 20? Yep, that yep. was so nope. strong. That first outing was woo. Yeah, and is yeah. "Afternoon Delight" a '70s song? Yes. Yeah, John Meyer, one of his faves. Oh, you're kidding! Everybody I meet loves that song. I don't love it. Oh, oh <laughs> neither do I. <laughs> yeah, I was but like, "You are fact, an old man." That's old man. That's like band. The people would love that. No, the it's, people. It's, you know, look, it's it, it's a long. <laughs> I put it in the class of summer breeze and. Um, whoa! Right. Wait! Whoa! Summer breeze is not afternoon delight. I will take you no, to no, task. No, in terms of these kind of nice melodies that that don't have a lot of peaks and valleys to them, and they just oh, kind I of. I love summer breeze. See, I was going to suggest summer breeze. I would no, love. Yeah, afternoon delight, but a lot of people make fun of that song. But anyway, but we can learn anything that's popular to the audience because we cater to the audience. So that's you, correct. That's the bottom. That is line. correct. Is the bottom right. line of it? Hey, is it cold? Right. I know it's cold where you are, Polly. Yes. Bob, is it chilly where you are? Yes. I'm in LA, and they're threatening we're having five days of rain, and the uh, the 126 year old drought it was officially ended last Thursday, and oh. it's it's all fine now. And wow, uh, we'll see about. Well, that. congrats. Yeah, yeah that's thank a you big very deal. much. Uh, because I can get back to drinking water again. I switched to Coca Cola to, to, to help. You know. <laughs> But now, to help who? <laughs> the droughts. After the, I didn't well, drink I'm water. More, I, I care not, more about you. I can you. do without Let's, water. If, well, if, now you're going to have to detox. No, 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 no. I, I add things, not subtract. <laughs> okay. No, Coca-Cola. All right, brothers. Oh. I got to start Christmas shopping. Real quick, I just want to run down this last I'm thing. I'm a medium now. I'm a medium. I, I want to give everybody the, oh. the lineup of the Happy Together Tour. It's going to be come out. the Turtles, Jay and the Americans, oh, the Association. Mean. Joey Mullen with Bad Finger. No matter the what Vogue, you are. And the Cow Sills. So. But by Little it's Antonio. New, sad about yeah, Little people, Antonio. People are going to love it. There's a lot yeah. of new acts or old acts. But Jay and the Americans, I don't know if they've ever done the Happy Together tour. Not in my uh, Not in our tenure. research have I ever seen right. them. Right. Well, they had ma this magic moment, Caramia. They had oh, the, they can the, do the it. Cafe on the other side, of it, it'll be great. I love <laughs> that Bob. song. I love that song. And if that guy Jake, God bless you, little Jose, and every night in the summer sing Caramia, Mike, he's going to bring the house down. Every yeah. night, you every know, night. I can't so wait. No, little Antonio. No, so sad. Bye -bye. That's a one-off, but it was a great one. Like the one yeah. that wonders, some of those are the best songs, you know, and he was a yeah. great addition, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he was fantastic. Right. He was. So, Paul, you got anything else you'd like to share with us today? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, so, look for us out there and a city and town near you. We're still booking and still yes, sir. Uh, amping up and amping up. Let you know about the malt shop cruise when we hear about that. That's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are some lucky hey, son of a gun, my Calso brothers. We are. Mm -hmm. We are All right, really brothers. lucky. Know the way I feel tonight. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Love. Success like that. Goodbye, everybody. We will See have a good week. week.
Thanks for stopping by and listening to what we talk about. I salute you. November 11th, Veterans Day. I salute you.